So this is... No. Why would I bury a weapon? <laughs> Who there, wanderer? Hello, Minister. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. He's not El Gandalf Minister? the Grey, but close. The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. <laughs> okay. Meet Elminster Ormar. A good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. An avatar of goddess of magic or something. famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gail. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare. Worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you won't begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get, get out with it. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gail? Even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> They are quite this the same. Hmm. To your camp. Oh, don't dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old and he still thinks with his stomach. With best for so really see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. A wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Mm, yes, what a delightful wedge of old Elthurian that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Words ladled with import should be savoured so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Alminster. Right. Um... You see... I... Um... Well, that is to say... Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. Yep, yeah. okay. I'm here on behalf of Mistra. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. Okay. Thank you for that most considerate reminder. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so, you're to be given a chance of redemption. Well, that's good for him. Mr. would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Okay. Mr. is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute, that most insidious of evils. If even gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what 
waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself, and by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe no pressure. itself. That is why I have come here to Easy charge task. you, Gale, with its destruction. It is okay. Mr.'s belief that only you can. Okay. First <laughs> I will take I will be the absolute destroyer. The orb. Precisely. The orb. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will. Interesting. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. Okay, the dream whisper is fudging. The heart of the absolute, whatever that may be, and use yourself as the uh, catalyst that will. Burn it from this okay, world. so he's becoming a suicide bomber. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress promise. With that, I've said my sorry piece. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. My Nahastra Mistrarium Italian Thras Annas it is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Okay. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find an end of it. fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come ebb, come flow, come. All that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Okay. Even In plain English, waves please. Of fate can break upon the shores of will. Okay. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Uh, okay. Repairing the beef. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. Yeah. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these okay, days. Okay, you don't need to eat eat the magic items anymore. A wizard doesn't reach Elminster's age without enjoying their home comforts. Those who seek danger over cheese don't tend to live as long. For Mistra to have sent him, the severity of her bidding could not be clearer or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. 
A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. Of course, we offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. So that's it. You are on the suicide Possibly mission now. Possibly the most now. spectacular one ever conceived. But essentially, yes, I'm living on borrowed time, in more ways than one. Perhaps, perhaps this is how it must be. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. You're not blowing yourself up today. I won't let you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Yep, that's that's also also true. All right. That was that was interesting. Shadowheart, your skills are improving. My skills were just fine to begin with. You can save the compliments. I don't pay compliments. I make observations. I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. I've seen them at work before. I wasn't alone in my mission. All those who were sent with me were slain by Gith Yankee blades. They must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. <laughs> Your mission is irrelevant to me. It seems to be important to the matter superior. I'm curious about that myself. It seems to be important to your mother yes. superior. And she acts as Lady Shah's voice amongst mortals. She must be doing the Night Singer's bidding. I just don't know what it all means. All will be okay, so in due time. Mistress knows the uh, knows about the absolute, so Shar must know the absolute. So you might as well shove off. Do I look like a bloody tour guide? <laughs> All I know is the roof's the best nest spot on the whole Chion Far. I got there first too, before the thieves showed up. Steel. Eagles are bigger. They just take. Nest. Prey. Everything. That's how it works here. Oh, it's not bloody fair. I got there first. The eagles don't even need it. <laughs> I like the whiny bird. Not on top of the monastery, they don't. Oh, it's not even like the eagles need my nest. The drunk lizards they eat aren't hard to catch. <laughs> One. Okay. No idea. Alcoholic lizards didn't show up much in your studies of the natural world. on the roof 
Rude bastards, those eagles. Deserve a little comeuppance. That's enough. On your feet. Where are you taking us? If this is about that weapon your friend was talking about, we don't have it and we don't know shit about it. Silence! Move! No. No, 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 I'm not going in there. I won't. Okay. Anyone want to join her? As I thought. Through the doors. Now! The captain is expecting you. So these are followers of the Absolute, right? Okay. That was Forward. pretty grim. Carefully. These cultists have the crash on high alert. No time to rest? <clears throat> okay, so... Barricade. I wonder if this is going to make some alert. Hello? Okay. It's a battle. Okay, they are dashing here. Inter interesting beats. Panther polymorph. That's... Okay, they got stuck there. You would think that they can actually... They react well to magic. Better be careful with my spells. Magic. Mole of poor, pure void. Predict became too far too unstable to have very gap to have. Thus we fastened a simple chapel on ourselves here, in case the blood within steel. We let the most righteous clutcher against those who sit in shadow. Okay, so there's a... Secret, secret weapon hidden here. Okay, that's a mage hand. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, so suppose we need to fight this. No mercy. I am fury. I am death. At least that was but that was a good try. That is interrupted. Can't read detonation, why? Okay. 
So it was this easy. No stop me yet. Because this is like part of the plot. What path lies before me? But it it it, it was good good idea. <laughs> ah, this. It's calling for help. Keep focused. Okay, that was pretty, pretty good. The trees are short. Okay, now I understand. That's how you get get up there. No, well, I don't think it's going to now go and Shouldn't have made me your call for help. Dead cobalt. Blue Jay is happy. or anything on my way ceremonial longsword dawn master welkin glory the weapon stopped glowing how what Ceremonial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently so. The monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. That there's their weapon. Lathandarian monasteries of this size were usually overseen by dawn masters, esteemed members of the clergy. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding the rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. The reconsecration of the monastery conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Okay, no. wish to live in more interesting no, times. No, no, what? Dawn of the Christ. I've 
got a long road ahead. Yo, maybe, maybe let the um, laser do the talking. Although, although you, you can be the leader and you can let your party members to speak for themselves. Sentries to arms! Istik, state your purpose quickly! Stand down, Gish! Is it not Vlakith's command to welcome her faithful? I expected no visitors faithful or otherwise. Why have you come? We seek the Sathisk. Show me the way. You are infected! A gate thrall is something to eradicate, not reason with! The faithful may be purified. This is Vlakith's protocol. Chuk. Fine. Let the Gustil carry out your fate. Report to the infirmary at once. And step carefully. Kresia like watches you. They are not letting us touch anything. I suppose this is going to be a bloody murder. I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. Hush, Quaniwell! This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Vlakith herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be! In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. A new face into a portrait. Uh. Ouch. Uh, now he has. Wow, that was great. You recall stories of a prince riding a comet just like this one. Ah, okay. With sudden clarity, you realize it's the symbol of Orpheus, a forgotten hero from the tales of your youth. The sign of Orpheus? <sighs> Blasphemy! Would I could crawl to the Vandal myself! This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Let us have words. Stay vigilant. Step carefully, kin. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I would hate to see you fall foul of them. Hatched, mostly. Only one remains unbroken, watched over by Vash Koku, caretaker of our young. You may speak to him if you wish, but do not approach the egg, lest you fall foul of me on everything. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the Astral Prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. The okay, leader doesn't... Ah, okay. That's interesting. Classroom. 
This is only a taste of the mercy a Jake would show you. Aha, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so they they have these kind of teaching methods. Kachoki! We are training to fight Gake! You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them! It, it's stupid! Orphi Silence! It seems your child is prattling is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? Yes. A demonstration may be just what's needed. Okay. This kind of training. Ah, oh, a true warrior's kill. Quick, bloody, and a scream to curl the stomach okay, pretty, juices pretty of much bad, guys. See, it's, Move it's, him out of the way. We've wasted enough time. Okay, already. so... Uh, There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. If you require treatment, take a seat, Kin. Or do you have a question? I'm analyzing changes in the worm's digestive tract following consumption of cerebral matter. Most of our kin find such work rather tedious. I wonder, what makes you so curious? It's going really well. Uh. I am no teacher. If it's an education you seek, go to the training room. I'm sure the Savage will be happy to oblige. Must you keep bothering me? If you have questions, read a book. Cursed is the day that even we become gake incubators. Tell me, how long have you been infected? Fascinating. So you're conscious of your infection, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Sathisk. I will ensure you are cured. It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? It will be worth it, I assure you. Most of our kin never get to experience the Sathisk. Vlakith smiles on you. The device is strange. Made okay. of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. Okay. The Zathisk. Vlaketh's purity distilled. My duty. My right. The device is part organic, part synthetic. But you can't tell how it was made. Or how it works. Stand aside! My time has come. Praise Vlacketh. Let it be done. Sit, child. 
Let the Zaytis end your suffering. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. The Zathisk's psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. Yes, child, speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? Parasite. 
There's something in her voice that goes beyond rage. Curiosity, perhaps, or regret. Whatever it is, you cannot identify it. Okay, music creation. Creation. Number. Really? Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, the problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. Okay, we are not trying no! that bit. That big. I followed the protocol! I must be cleansed! Incredible. Your parasite is even stronger now. Still breathing, despite everything. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathisk might have killed me. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. There must be a Sharlak in this crash. A traitor. The sort that is hunted, slaughtered and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Okay, it's good no that hurry. you think it that way. We best. must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Zathisk's tampering. Not the resounding success we were hoping for. Still, the price of ambition is occasionally catastrophic failure. At least our skulls remain intact. He's Mr. Alvis, so she expects active. those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Hmm. Let's take our resonant. Vampire. I'm not surprised that the Git's insane device didn't remove our tadpoles. I'm just disappointed. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Oh, that's so. Someone there. Get stuck, shard. Flackets will be done. 
Objective okay, noted. This, this, I had to this for a not reaction. A thief's been emptying pockets around here. You might want to allay some suspicions before things get out of hand. free for now but your stories won't land so well if you're caught again ah <laughs> yep you would be oh it is you it's talk i will not have you sneaking through my crash Quiet, Ferrazin. I wish to speak with this one. As you wish, Chitrai. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Ah, our esteemed guest. Please approach. We have much to discuss. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Geich slave vessel. Chikrai. Vlaketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geich ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. What makes you think we are not? We are talking about the grand design, the restoration of the Illithid Empire. There is nothing of greater importance. But the weapon is the solution. I have heard it directly from Queen Vlacketh herself. It is how we will stop the Mind Flayers before they destroy us all. Hand it over. The grand design is what all Geek seek. The restoration of the Illithid Empire, which spanned the entirety of the multiverse. For centuries, their elder brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Never before could they pause Ceremorphosis. Never before could they let the infections spread undetected. Ah. You saw the thralls gathered on the Geek ship. Imagine that everywhere. Wants, needs, choice. All would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Geek. So, the weapon. Please. <laughs> He's making a nice. Don't give it to him. Do not try me. Hand over the artifact or die by my hand. Remember that side this gift can be trusted. Follow my lead. I'll choose the right side. The Sathisk. I hate that you speak the truth. Choose. Your path is mine to follow. Our fate is forged. Mother Gith, guide us. Your illustrious adventure ends here. Hetasif! Inquisitor Wargaz was potent. We are impressed. What? My 
queen. Skarthai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. Very politely. <laughs> I expected a little of Istic education, but here we kneel before our queen. You choose. They do not become you, Lazel. Chma Zala Flaketh. You know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic, you bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? Utility is proven, but your heroism is yet to be witnessed. A test, then, to see if you are as capable as you profess to be. That weapon you carry, the astral prison, it is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design, sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Anithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Okay. Kill them! Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Killing mission. Do this, and ascend! Ascension. My queen. An honor gained. A burden born. Choose. But know this. The cost of refusal is great. Not merely great, Lazel. Eternal. Perhaps I misheard. You would not speak ill of a god, would you? Do not test her. She will be our ruin. Obey, my child, and be forgiven. Use the Planecaster's power to enter the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. You will not leave this room until it is done. Barn is in. I'll each step with purpose. A 
a timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold, a pocket of astral plane. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Nope. Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. <laughs> I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well, I stole it from Vlakith. Okay. Understand. Since then, she has become desperate. Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Is this kind of something? But Vladi could be damned if she wants to that kill you herself. <laughs> Get it up, you want I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Lakith will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Like it is a card of what you could you could you possibly know that would bring down her empire? Godlike in power, yes. But with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist illithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. A logical question, but you're not ready for the answer. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. I hope you are ready to face Blackith's wrath. The entire Kresh stands ready to kill you in her name. Good luck. Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? Mm. I wonder if I can actually actually convince her that Vlakith does not lie to her faithful. Open your mind. Oh yeah, we have mind, mind mind freaks. 
make your mind tingles. Lazelle seeks entrance. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. I see only... only madness. Vlakith bears the full might of Tunarath's arms and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. Skvar! We are leaving this place. Now! Vlakith! Vlakith! I have wielded your fury as a blade, roared your wrath as a dragon! You promised ascension, yet I crawl among my own people, low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! I followed your path. What good? This heart of stone, for it to be shattered. She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlakith's favor yet. I must think. green egg with an uneven shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it. What news of our little project? Have you found the egg? Us indeed, you shall be rewarded immediately. A pleasure to do business with you. I am Vlacketh's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. I wouldn't be so sure. My own Savash would never have threatened a youngling. A waste of time and energy. The pupils themselves culled the weak from their ranks. I myself felled four of my own classmates once Kalir had a hundred times circled Tyrell. Survival. My people have no use for cowards. Every trainee that I slayed was either too weak to withstand the lessons, or was cocky enough to pick a fight they could never win. They underestimated me, so they paid the price. The Githyanki are only as powerful as their weakest warrior. Jaquith de Venzir, the termination of the frail, strengthens us. Okay. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less, though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. <laughs> okay. I can understand that. Shukiani. 
Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. Uh, the okay. queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukyani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Go on then. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling I so need good. To fix her. My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> I need to find a mechanic. A good one. Well, this thing's going boom. Well, I imagine it's lights out, Big K. And then it'll be just you, your parasite, and the wild yonder. I'm sure you'd manage. But this old girl's got a few things to do before it comes to that. <laughs> 